Hi, my name is Natalie and I'm here today to talk to you about the link between microorganisms and net zero. So, as you've probably already heard, the water industry has made an ambitious pledge to achieve net zero carbon by the year 2030. This is because water companies are committed to protecting and enhancing the environment. They intend to be part of the solution to the climate crisis. The project that I'm talking to you today trialled a new innovative type of monitoring, Sentry, to help a case study water company become more energy efficient in their wastewater plant operation. Most sensors measure physiochemical properties, so for instance pH, uh, ORP, etc, to act as a chemical proxy for understanding biology. However, Sentry directly measures the microbial metabolic activity of the microorganisms involved in wastewater treatment, the microbial electron transfer rate. This means that by using Sentry, water companies can directly and in real time get a quantification of their biology to better understand what's happening in their wastewater and at their sites. This water company were interested in using Sentry to categorise the incoming wastewater stream and identify periods of lower levels of organic loading to a wastewater facility. This would enable them to maximise aeration efficiency. So to trial this, a Sentry device was fitted, one on the influent to the bath and one of the effluent to the bath. Historic data was statistically analysed using a signal decomposition with key repeating trends and repeating trends in organic load were identified. We found evidence of over aeration uh, using the Sentry probes. So in figure two, it details how Sentry readings overlaid with on-site DO readings from the anaerobic sludge plant. And it showed that high dissolved oxygen readings correlated with low periods of MET activity. So basically indicating periods of the day where the facility was being over aerated. Based on the Sentry results, the operators plan to divert loading during the low organic loading periods from the bath reactor to the ASP. The flow redirection will allow operators to minimise aeration requirements for the bath system. Basically what they're going to be doing is turning off blowers during low loading periods to save energy. For this specific site we're looking at between 10% and 20% of the, the energy, um, energy efficiency, so energy efficiency of 10 to 20% on that particular site which actually equates to a saving of £50,000 to £100,000 per annum. So thank you very much for listening to me present today all about microorganisms, net zero and Sentry taking the first step in the right direction towards net zero. Thanks very much, I've been Natalie. Bye!